What's up YouTube, it's your boy James back with another video and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a short little review for the Air Jordan 1 Nostalgia slash Chanel depending upon what you want to call it. Now this sneaker is scheduled to be dropping on July 23rd which is a Saturday for $170 retail. Now just getting right into it guys, it does come with the red and black women's exclusive box. Uh, most women's Jordan 1's do come in this box. Um, also the high cut 85's come in this box so I am a fan of it. Now, as far as the sneakers go, honestly, they're a lot better than I thought they were going to be. Now, the leather on it is not bad, guys. It's not the highest premium quality leather in the world or anything, but it's pretty good. Uh, feels buttery in some places. Feels really, really good around the front toe box. Feels good on this white panel right here in the middle. Uh, you will get this hit of gray right here. You will get uh, gray tongue as well with the Nike Air on top of the tongue. Now you will get red laces in the sneaker, uh, it does come with an extra set of white laces as well if you want to swap them out. Now the thing that's setting this sneaker apart from a lot of other Jordan 1's is right here on the swoosh you're going to get like that carpet Chanel material and that's on both sides of the sneaker on the Nike swoosh. Um, here is a shot of the outsole, I know people love this classic Jordan 1 outsole right there. As far as the inside of the sneaker goes, you're gonna get a gray insole with a gray sock liner. And guys, keep in mind, this is a woman's exclusive, but that does not mean that men will not be going after this sneaker. We should probably let them have this one, guys, but I understand. Um, for me, I'm gonna be passing on this. This one is for somebody else, actually. You will get the hang tag, and it's gonna have the same material as the Nike uh, swoosh does here on the side panel, with like that carpety kind of material. Now, even though this is a women's exclusive, I know you guys are gonna be, you know, probably trying to cop and stuff like that. Now, I believe that these are only going up to a men's 10 and a half. So, for example, this is a woman's nine and a half, and this translates to a men's size eight. So, uh, whatever size you are in men's, you're gonna have to go up 1.5 size if this is a sneaker that you know is on your radar. You're thinking about picking up. Um, overall, I mean, like if I needed more red and white sneakers, you know, I, you know, which I don't, um, I would pick this up. You know what I mean? Or if I, you know, was just starting out or something like that, um, I would definitely pick this up. This is a pretty nice sneaker. The materials are pretty good. Um, you know what I mean? I know Jordan ones really aren't doing the numbers that they used to. They don't have the hype that they used to. Um, but guys, like this is a pretty dope colorway. Probably one of the best colorways that we've seen all of 2022. To be honest with you, um, not the best one. You know what I mean? We still have you know some time to go. The Chicago Reimagines are coming out and stuff like that. But I mean, overall, for a, you know, a women's shoe, not bad at all. Um, you know what I mean? Um, you know, maybe pick this up for somebody else, but you know, maybe a woman in your life or something. But I would let the ladies have this one, guys. Um, but you know, overall, from like a one to ten, I'd probably give it a seven. Uh, but let me know down in the comment section, you know, how you feel about this sneaker. Is this on your radar? Are you, you know, considering picking this up on release day? Let me know down in the comment section below. Really quick, as far as resale goes, they're not going for a whole lot. And, uh, you know, if you end up taking an L on the sneakers app or something like that, you know, you'll probably be able to go out on the secondary market and pick these up for, you know, a few bucks over retail, maybe like $200, maybe $220, depending upon size and stuff like that. So, you know, this is going to be an affordable Air Jordan 1. Uh, it's not doing crazy numbers or nothing like that. So it's definitely attainable. But let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Other than that, that's all I have for you guys today. I'd like to thank you all for your time. Thanks for stopping over here to check out another one one of my videos. I really do appreciate all the love and support. And until next video, peace. For more sneaker content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video.